Boo! Hey, it's just me. I'm not scary, and I don't do scary things. But you wouldn't believe it based on the reaction some people have to me and the things I'm interested in. Products for safety and independence in the home. Take for example, I'm at a health fair recently. Things were a little slow and I have time to kind of watch people. And I see this older gentleman in a scooter. Well, actually I see his big red flag waving around on the pole over a scooter because he's going from booth to booth. He's pretty quick and slick. And he eventually makes his way over to me. And as he's coming, I can see he's got one leg stretched out in front of him. And as a therapist, it's a pretty good indication to me that he has a range of motion problem or some limitation going on in that leg. He comes over, we have a great, relaxed, fun conversation, and a lot of it's centered around the grab bars and things like that on my table. So he's leaving, and I say, hey, would you like a coupon? So if you want to get some of this stuff in the future, you can save a little money. And he turns around and looks at me and gives me this big old grin and goes, well, honey, I'm not ready for that stuff yet. Really? So when is he going to be ready? When he's on his back in the bathroom floor looking up at the ceiling going, I think this would have been a good moment for a grab bar. Now I understand it was a health fair. He was probably just blowing me off because he didn't want a lot of people putting mail on his mailbox. But that's not the only example. What about the lady who loves to bathe? I mean, used to love to soak in her tub. But she hasn't had a decent soaking bath in years because she can't get out of that old tub. And she keeps telling her children who want to help, Oh no, it's okay. I'm doing all right. I don't need anything. Is that living life to the fullest? Denying yourself the pleasures that were in your grasp that wouldn't hurt anybody that people want you to have? Have you ever heard the expression, he is his own worst enemy? These people want to live life independently and on their own terms. And yet it is their denial, their reactions that are keeping them from being able to do that. They are their own worst enemy. And I am not scary. See, I don't force people to do anything. I give people choices. It really hurts me to see people do this. But I've been around for a long time doing home modifications, and I also know there's another true saying. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. But I don't want much. Look, share the news. Share this video. Take a look at yourself. Are you your own worst enemy? Are you what's standing between a truly safe, productive, independent, and joyful life?